This video demonstrates how the SOLIDWORKS modeler will help you improve the integration of your LTM PCBs into your product assemblies. The SOLIDWORKS modeler is integrated into the LTM application. There is a panel in the PCB editor for invoking commands and applying settings. There is also a panel in the PCB library editor. Now we're going to create an assembly in SOLIDWORKS. You choose the panel button, the program connects to SOLIDWORKS and builds the assembly. Firstly, if any parts are not present in the parts folders, they are automatically created. If bodies are present in the components, these are used to build the SOLIDWORKS part. The board outline part is then created and placed into the assembly. Parts for the electronic component parts are then placed to complete the assembly. Once the assembly is created, it can be placed into the product assembly. You can then use the built-in SOLIDWORKS tools for interference checking and analysis. Now that the assembly is created, if you make a change in LTM, you can simply update the assembly. I'll move the tantalum capacitor. I then choose the Synchronize SOLIDWORKS Parts command. The program then connects to SOLIDWORKS and updates the location of the corresponding part in the assembly. We can also do this in the reverse direction. I will now move the capacitor in SOLIDWORKS. I switch to LTM and choose the Synchronize LTM Components command. You see the capacitor in LTM move to the corresponding location. The product also has some PCB library editor functions. Let's activate the coil. If I double click in the grid, the bodies in the component are listed. If I click in a row in the grid, the corresponding body is highlighted using object filtering. I will now invoke the part from bodies command. A SOLIDWORKS part is created from the bodies. You can also create a part in SOLIDWORKS, then using the bodies from part command, a component is created and bodies are added.
We will finish by showing you some advanced capabilities such as the modeling of copper pads and traces. If you would like to download a 15-day trial, this can be requested from the Desktop EDA website.